let's see. Keith, you're not even logged in yet, are you? Yeah, he I is. am. I am on a loading screen. Ah. Oh, uh, Shell, can you leave your group? Oh, right. I'm still with your other character. Yeah, I forgot to leave with him. Whoopsie. You always do. I'm used to Guild Wars 2's system of just carrying over. Standing adjacent next to people. Well, <laughs> and it just in, works. Uh, in Guild Wars 2, if you're in a group and you switch characters, it will actually, um... It'll actually, like, keep the characters, the new characters, in the same party. So I can, like, hot swap between multiple characters and it won't... I won't have to, like, enter or leave groups. It's really nice, actually. You'd think they could do that very easily in this game, but no. Also, in this pinkish-red light of the Blasted Lands, my polar bear looks like a piggy, and I got really This confused. game can't even do talent trees. They just gave up and deleted them. Well, mm -hmm. it's more that the player base couldn't properly do talent trees. It, like, it was... It was bad for unexperienced players, so they got rid of it. That is... That is entirely the reason. I mean, didn't also force people to be, you know... Fully specced in one talent tree, and then you would only be half specced in a second one. Yeah, I mean that wasn't so bad. It actually gave you some nice flexibility here and there, but it was still one of those where like new players would end up with like a shitty build and get discriminated for, like that reason. Mm hmm. I never liked those where and we, we wouldn't want anyone to be build. held back by being bad at a game. And it looks like. He Keith, are you in Ironforge? Yep. Well, I'm in Dunmoreau. Now I'm in Searing Gorge. God damn it. I mean, so, I got I logged in and I started flying. It's true. <laughs> it's true. Remember that thing? Remember earlier when we talked about how about giving no warning about the WoW session? This was also you giving no warning about being in Blasted Lands. <laughs> yeah, it's true. He's like, but... all right, everyone be in Blasted Lands so that everyone's there when I start recording. And then, like, two minutes later, you start recording. You're like, all right, everyone's on and start recording. I'm like, uh, See, I this just is assume... a massive online I just assumed everybody had logged out near Blasted Lands or in, the, or in uh, Outlands already. I've Considering... had Ironforge as my standard Hearthstone location Why? for the entire playthrough. Beca because otherwise, I kept setting it to stupid places like some random outpost in... Uh, Stranglethorn, and then like two episodes later, we're never going back. So like, that's a good point. Just keep putting it, it in the capital Ironboard. city is the only place that made sense. Exactly, which is what I did. What's mine at? I don't even remember. That's my whole point. Ironboard. Sorry, keep it at Stormwind. Yeah, Always Stormwind is a good one. Stormwind. I don't, I don't even like know Stormwind. where Dragon's Mouth is. Where the hell you is get Dragon's everything Mouth? you need at Stormwind. I don't, I don't like. I don't like trying to remember how to navigate Stormwind. God, you fucking kill me. The houses are colored. Color coordinated. I just remember Ironforge <laughs> better out of the things that I remember from what little memory I have left of this game, so I, I set to that. There's like a one minute gap in flight difference between Stormwind and Ironforge. <laughs> but I could lose way more time trying to find something in Stormwind, especially since they added half of the city to it. Oh, I know. They it's also a maze. They, didn't they also destroy half of the city? I don't know, but they changed all of Stormwind. Ironforge is completely identical, so all the more reason for me to stick to it. <laughs> I guess. Nothing I has changed because dwarves don't change. <laughs> it seems easier to the, memorize Stormwind their, since their it has more to offer. I have not had any examples of things that it has to offer that Ironforge doesn't so far. Because I've never had to go to Stormwind this entire playthrough. Have you not had to go to like through the portals or anything? The portals haven't ever come up. I don't even know what you're talking about. So like how far Peninsula and stuff? Well, I just hit level 59 last time we played, so no. Yeah, I did some outside leveling and got to 58, so I'd at least be close to you guys. Yep. You, gotta keep in, you gotta keep in mind that 100% of this playthrough has been Azeroth-based so far. Yeah, so, so no it's just a matter. So it's just a matter of choosing an Eastern Kingdoms-based city that I understand. When the two of them are pretty close to, together. And actually, Ironforge has better proximity to 90% of the Eastern Kingdoms than Stormwind does. But it's in the middle instead of the south. It's a good point. Okay. I never really think of that actually, because the, like the entire top portion is just kind of like no man's land. Like I think, 
I've I've only ever been up to the Western Plague Lands and Eastern Plague Lands once before this. And before that, it was always heading over to Kalimdor. Because that <clears throat> entire side is way more interesting, generally. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, we didn't really set foot in Kalimdor this playthrough, did we? No, we didn't. Not really. Uh, we started there, and then we just left and never so came back. We had Darkshore. Yeah, but we didn't even stay in Darkshore for very long. Yeah, but that was it. <laughs> Yeah. I just love pretty forest. We never even made it to Ashenvale. Uh, uh, we were kind of trying. I think Shell and I made it, and then immediately just left. Because what happened is we did Darkshore at first, because that was before we qualified for any instances. Yeah. Then we qualified for instances, and then we quickly flew over to... We took the boat to Stormwind. And then we went straight to Darkshire, right? Yeah. And then we... Then we questioned the morality of the fact that every quest there involves killing uh, li the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> I like, well, this that. is now more concerning than it used to be. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, no big deal. Just killing me a lot. My favorite. All right, I'm, no, I'm about to land here. I can see the portal. It is our cousin Jeb. Wait, you? F oh, you, you're landing here. Here. Recording audio, um, video, go. Now I'm recording. Did you get, uh... Let's did you go get kick flight? some dicks in the dick. Uh, did you get flight or no? I don't know how. Or okay. where. Uh, we'll get it on the next. Or uh, what it we'll costs. On the next. Uh, you can get it in Stormwind, or you can get it in Honor Hold, where we're going when, immediately when I, after this. When I last played, you had to be level 70 to get it. Can't uh, buy it till 60. Oh. oh, well, never mind. I guess. I'm also, mm -hmm. I'm also not level 60. Why am I, I flying... Am. Why am I flying through this fucking... Fucking forest down here. Where are you going? <laughs> what? Oh, you're you're going it, all the way down around. to Surwich. Why oh, the hell are you going all the shit. way down there? Here, I'll come get you. I just clicked on the one that said Blasted Lands. <laughs> uh, you missed. I didn't even realize yeah, there was there's a flight master down there. Apparently, and I got what the them. tits. What? Like I've never even been outside of the actual it's... Blasted Lands lands. Oh, uh, you, you never set foot in Surwich yet? No, I've never even been down here. What? I, I kind of want to go take a look. Here, uh, shall uh, you yeah, work I, with? When Actually, I no, la what That's happened is I ended, I ended up in Surwich last time I played because I was doing Blasted Lands quests, and then they sent me here. Wow, this that is so, a really pretty looking tree, I th actually. I think that was the first time I ever saw it, either. It's, just a we it's, like, it's like mini Darkshire. It's actually kind of cool. Like, the Tainted Forest looks really nice. It was a Stable Master. At least comparatively, like that oh, big wait, old those, tree there oh, with all the stuff. I Here, forgot I'm stable masters you. are just pet people now. <laughs> yeah, don't wait, go anywhere. So wait, down south. Why yeah, are you coming to me? Don't go anywhere, Shell. Uh, because I can fly you there faster than you could on your so own. You can just fl so you can get flying at sixty, and you can just fly everywhere. Yes. Yeah. Do you have well, to get? Do you have to buy yes, flying and outland no. at seventy? Uh, you fly no. everyone is everywhere at sixty. So the way it works is, uh, I got flying for free. And so instead of having to spend the money uh, to get flying, here, hop on. That's because he's a druid right now. Yeah, so druid yeah. gives me flying for free. Saves me a, a lot skill. of money. Um, so you can then pay to be able to fly in uh, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor for, it's like 200, 300 gold, something like that. This is my first time flying since whatever year uh, the Illidan instance came out. <laughs> wow. Mm. Um, yeah. But, so, at level 60, you, all three of you guys are going to be able to buy flying mounts and fly around. I already got them. Including Outland? Uh, only Outland. Uh, yeah. Only yeah. Outland? Yep. Yes. Um, you mean I can't fly in Azeroth? No. You're going to have to pay money for why that. <laughs> so why can't you fly in Azeroth? Because I paid money for it. Alright, Shell, you want to come to oh, the portal? okay. <laughs> It's okay, so, I'm just slaying everything some demons. Print. I'm gonna go drop us off Get on that snake. Blood. If it ever seems weird that I don't understand something that seems really basic, just imagine not knowing things that are basically the opposite of that, and then having to remove that memory and then replace it with a new thing. I'm really disappointed. Because when I played, you had to you had to fi basically finish Burning Crusade to even hit to even yeah. get flying. Period. Uh, they changed it now, so every expansion. Wee. Except for the most current one, I believe lets you fly. Didn't early. even take damage. Yeah, we'll go figure. Didn't even take damage because on. rogue. I'm also a rogue. It's true. How low can I go here? I would. I wouldn't take. I That's wouldn't take damage from the top low. of that thing. Probably. 
Do, do, do you see? You're not even touching it anymore. Nope. One of my paws is touching its nose. The power of me picking you its nose hope that is keeping not me ticklish. alive. I mean, if it you sneezes, I'm ticklish. going to die. It's just, you know. Well, yeah, venom. Yeah. It's, it's got one of those, like, spring, like, face melters. <laughs> uh, like if I angle the Jurassic camera Park. correctly, my, like... Jurassic Park, now with raptor training. My face looks kind of terrified right now. It's just... I actually, I've got the Mufasa face going on, just as he's about to get knocked off the uh, cliff. R -r -r reboot. All right, shall you here? You know what you yeah. look like? Yeah? Your character looks like, uh... The, the, treasure, the treasure tomb from Aladdin. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just like, I'm just the wrong color, but yeah. Yeah, I can see it. well, yeah. You just, if, if you had a sand sculpture, it would just be that. You'd be a prequel. That is <laughs> kind of cool, actually. That's a weird movie. <laughs> Who dare disturb my slumber? Well, who's ready to go to the Outlands? Dix. At, all right. Apparently, Dix is. Not sure where he comes up in this uh, series, but... Ah, Ooh. sure. It's fish people. Because he's a wolf? And something from Dark Souls, I guess. <laughs> he's clearly a dick wolf. What? What? Hey! You can't escape me. I was going to ride him. I'm what? straddling your boyfriend. Hot. Whee! Uh, where are we? Oh, right. Uh, where's that But it's master? my birthday today. <laughs> That's what... Birthday. That's why you get... You, you, you get the gift no, of no, walking. No, 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 no. Is oh, that hey. excuse to straddle somebody? We've got a the gift. We've got a quest gift giver. Of walking. I'm not gonna forget about him. All right. He's got that. Sh uh, he's got that really gross-looking paladin armor. Where's the flight master? Here. I'm a walking banana dildo. <laughs> Where's the flight master? I think it's around the corner, right over here. See the little dwarf guy? They said right. they said I needed color coordination, so I got one. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> I hate. I hate that guy. I hate that paladin set. Uh, so what? Nasty looking. The one Just the one hundred percent gold set. Oh yeah. Was that um? Be good. That that must have been vanilla, right? What's on your uh, probably. Yeah, I think that hey. was like t that was probably like tier three paladin armor. Okay. What I'm wearing right now is pretty hideous. Oh. So are we flying away? Yeah. To Arnold. Armor. Clang, clang. Man, my I... character actually looks all right. He's all. He's got a bunch of like red and brown everywhere. Yeah, get ready to get, like, purple and glowy and shit. Yeah, purple and glowy and shit. That's, like, the subtext. I mean, subtitle of this game. <laughs> I actually subtext. really enjoyed the weapon design in this game. It felt... I don't know. It was ridiculous enough that I could enjoy it. I like I was... the weapon design. I just wish that the that all the daggers were about, like, 300% smaller. Oh, were they, like, <laughs> practically swords? Every dagger is the size of your armor in this game. Eh... Like just might... the entire arm, not even the forearm, but like all of it. Like your like two-handed clubs in real life are the size of daggers in World of Warcraft. I, I guess. think it might vary per race too. I know that some races so when they're away. wielding them, it's they're much the longer. Did you guys like fly there, or is that just how fast your your flying is? No, we're flying using the dwarf griffin trainer. Yeah, are, are you guy. like mounted? Oh, did you? Oh, are you oh. walking? Yes. Wow, you're dumb. And you've I been didn't... here before. This is the I last expansion you played. I that was happening. Yeah, I played it once. Light be with you. Oh, well, still. <laughs> I had one br I had one expansion level character <laughs> ever, lines. which was my rogue. And that was whatever day this game this expansion first came out where I experienced this once. Hey, look, I found a camp with quests in it. See? Right. You guys don't get this. Suck it. Uh 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 huh. It's funny because I get things that are exclusive to me, and you guys don't. Yeah, yeah you're still gonna have to come back until here. you run until you run all the way over here. I yeah, know what Numlock is. I'm fine. Then we're gonna have to come back over there too. Oh Ooh. wait, and Andrew's down at Zeth Gore, and you're up. You guys are up at the other thing, huh? Yeah, I don't know what Andrew's doing. He's oh, probably, quest he's, he's probably where... questing. It's probably a, an area for that. Uh, notably, uh, I'm not even that far away. Now that, yeah. now that you guys are just now arriving. <laughs> Yep. Actually, one of my oh, you guys are actually here finally. I do yeah. have a, I do have comically fast running. Let's see, we actually get a boost from our guild. Yeah, yeah. Uh, passive. I, I think originally uh, Shell was like super resistant to the idea of joining a like filler guild or whatever. <laughs> but you just get random bullshit for some reason, and that's yeah, that makes it nice. better. 
I like By the it. way, if you guys well, come out to this tower that's outside of, of camp, there's quests at it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was gonna grab them on the way out. So you should go get that. I need to go figure out, let's see. Cause, the thing is, uh, what you do is you go in, you go into Honor Hold, uh, you hand in a couple of quests, and then they, um, then they tell you to go out and talk to these people that you're telling us to go to. So. We're doing yeah, one of, right one of the other one of the other people I encountered told me to go to on our hold. Yeah. So that person's gonna give. So I get more experience. Yeah. Maybe. Was that ran, was that the was, like starter was, quest in the very beginning though? It was some random asshole north of Zethgor. Oh, weird. I guess that's for the people that fucked up. Yeah. Fucking up and getting rewarded. It's like Obama's America. Uh. Fault. Pretending to be, make political jokes. <laughs> the secret is just to set, ends all sentences with Obama. Everyone or thinks any you're, president really. Everyone will just think you're being clever. Uh, all right, so here's the tra so here's the flight master guy. Yeah. Okay. The 212 gold. Expert riding and flight and flying are two separate things, I guess. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Expert riding is. Isn't Expert that the, riding like... says now you can now ride flying mounts in your in your from your riding trainer. Okay, yeah, I think they changed it around because originally the terminology flight was master different. enables flight master enables uh, Eastern Kingdoms, okay. Kalimdor, and Deep Home. Oh yeah, yeah. Is Deep Home? You're gonna want expansion that for the with Lich King? Uh, no, that's Cataclysm. Oh, oh, oh! What? I don't, I don't even know where Deep Home is then. Yeah, um, Deep Home is you know the Maelstrom. Yes. That's how you it's get the to the swirly whirly. Home. Yep, that's how you get to Deep Home. You hop in there. It was that thing that was always on the map, but there was nothing. Yeah. Nothing seemed I, to be important about it. <laughs> I think if we go to I, I think if we go to places in Cataclysm, we'll go through Deep Home. Cuz uh the underwater place sucks pretty hard. Uh okay. but the the world tree area is really cool. Oh no, I did it again. What? Did you get lost? So I'm not I'm not used to human structure shapes. Oh, you're lost so I, inside I, the fort again? I need to re remember <laughs> where the entrance is to the to the weird like lobby. Oh, it's, oh here we go. You take the yeah, weird I'll ramp. Find the okay. One for you. <laughs> I just keep going up. It'd be good if that if you quest can't. markers told you what whether you were on the right vertical level or not. Yeah, welcome to Honor Old, Dickface. Here's some quests. We might as well there pop we over here and grab the last camp thing. Now my screen's covered in question marks. <laughs> this is gonna be an exciting episode where I run towards question marks. The entire. By the way, like throughout all of my time doing my personal channel, I'm constantly questioning like. People find this entertaining, <laughs> just all the time, because <laughs> my version of entertaining is sad games where like silly stuff's happening and it's like high energy and engaging and like silly things and whatever comedy type stuff. Need help? Whereas here I'm just playing games and like talking, so I'm like I don't know what people get hey, out of this. I want to talk to that guy. Okay. And most most people tell me they enjoy our rambling as kind of like a thing they can kind of tune out to. I, I gotta say, World of Warcraft is like the epitome of me being like, I don't know why people are watching this, yeah. but they are, so I guess I'll keep going. <laughs> yeah, I'm not getting, like, <laughs> as much viewership. Like, I'm definitely getting five times as many people watching Vagante as World of Warcraft. Well, that's because Vagante's new, also. Yeah, it's true. Mi mix a brand new game and brand new series on brand new game, versus yeah. episode 30-something on old game. <laughs> I uh, would really love 40... to do... Okay, by the I time this know. comes out, it's going to be well into the 60s. Well, that doesn't matter. Because that's not your viewership right now, because it's that's true. the future. That is a good point. <laughs> and I am not a time traveler, so I'm not talking about those. <laughs> I'd really love to do, like, you know, start an MMO group where it's a new game. Because I feel like we've always been a little late to most of the games. I mean... Yeah. Oh, you mean like a brand new MMO? Yeah, because we played Guild Wars 2 at launch, we, but you We could just hop on something then. until it comes out. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'd be down for that. The problem is, like, none of the MMOs coming out lately have been it remotely worth playing. It depends on what it is, and yeah, like, things like Wildstar I was excited about, up until I found out their pricing model, and then the fact that it was too hardcore. Worth, right. play worth playing for personal reasons, and, and uh, capable of having a perfectly good series out of it, though, are two different things, usually. Keith, where are you going, by the way? I, I, grabbed keep a, us... I, I had to do another quest. 
Oh, t- now, now I'm he- now I'm heading towards you. Okay, you know this one, right? The like kind of nope. mediocre one where we have to gather all of the. I like, played Hellfire once. Uh, we have to go around gathering like wood and stuff. If you want me to remember things, it'll be the daily quests. <laughs> that Onward, I over fat. and over and over and over. Gotta fly on my little freaking manta ray flying creature so that I go grab. Gotta go bomb those specific spots. Oh, I remember spending you're doing that one? years. No, I'm talking about my oh, own that's what, quest. I'll, the quest I'll remember. Okay. <laughs> or the daily yeah. quests. Because all the other stuff I did, I did once on one character and then never again. <laughs> I guess maybe I just have a better memory for everything. You also played with more characters, though. This is true. I've like gone a lot more Outlands. characters, as in every extra character is literally my experience multiplied. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so yes. So yes, you're more experienced. So just like oh, I know the first level Silent Bomber really well, way better than you, because I've played uh, it way more than you. I don't even know <laughs> what that game is. Exactly. Do you fart on things? Is that how it works? <laughs> Sounds about right. Sort of silent, like. silent, but deader. Deader? I don't. I was trying going for bomber and it didn't make sense. Yeah. And I had to. I had to commit because I was mid sentence. <laughs> no. That's ninety percent of things that come out of my mouth. <laughs> silent what? bomber is a very cheesy Japanese game from 1999 that came out on PS1, and I seem to be the only person on the face of the planet that knows that it exists, and so I'm spreading the love. It's also one of the only games I played as a kid from that era where when I look it up on like Metacritic or something, I'm like, or some sort of aggregate, I'm like, oh yeah, people did like this overall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A lot of the game, a lot of the games I played, I look back on, and it's like, oh yeah, everyone hated this. I'm like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. The shitty Turns thing up. about this quest is we don't really want to stick together because we can't get the metal, and the metal and the like wood scraps and stuff are the. Like, hard things to get. Yay! Counter-operative quests. Yeah, I I always hated these ones, especially with the group, because it's just like, well, there is literally nothing we can do. That won't, My favorite like, part involve... was when it's intentionally not cooperative. Yeah. Yay. But then again, who really expected, like, five people to level through World of Warcraft? In, yeah, who like... would group in an MMO? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> what, do they, like, know what things are called or something? At the same time, though, I'm glad oh, they largely... Eat a Worgen Druid, he looks awesome. I'm glad they largely planned this game for solo, because there are a lot of MMOs that specifically plan on being, like, massively multiplayer and requiring large groups of people at all times. And it's just awful. Yeah, we should play one of those. <laughs> if I we're going to play games as a group, we should just play a group-based game. <laughs> it's then we're true. Set. Then we'll have, like, an interesting tactical experience where we think about things we're doing on the screen. The problem is there aren't many of those that would be like super viable. I think Guild Wars Final 1 Fantasy is the easiest 11. example. Uh, <laughs> if they Wars make 1. it free to play, sure. Is it Wait, not free game? to play? What it's not. No. What? Final it, Fantasy. Final what? Fantasy 11 Fantasy? has we never all, been. We should all play DC Universe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my. Andrew, Andrew I and I had some, had some fun with that at one point. That. It's oh, pretty man, amusing. I, have, I still have all my characters. You were a stinky diver. Yeah, I saw a stinky diver. Stinky uh, diver is here to clean your pipes. <laughs> what a great I would, guy! I would probably play that. We'd have That's, to that, make... that could be an amusing group thing just to have ridiculous characters to get I, just from the get go. I do think we might want to see if we can involve like bird or gnomes for that, just because I don't think any of us are stupid enough to truly get the full like amusement out of it. Shell, tell me when to stop because there's plenty of. Lumber yeah, I've never, I've you. never been stupid before. I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh well, no, I've already done this, Carl. Oh right. All right, let's go find Keith. Let's go find the Kef. Oh wait, the Kef is. Right. Oh yeah, I'm. Ge- oh yeah, I'm supposed oh, to. Oh, you're on the things. other side. Have you just been running around stabbing the shit out of things? I mean, they looked at me funny with their not wolf faces. Eh, can't blame. I might me be too racist. <laughs> All right, I need, I need to actually kill Did at I least l- a bunch of these things. I'm a, I must have left glowy territory because I don't see anything glowing uh, over here. I'm gonna so run it's back. on both sides. As long as you're on the like upper areas, you're fine. Meow, meow, However, meow. you're in the lower area. Last I saw. Jesus, I need eight metal. I found no metal. <laughs> it's all been wood. You're a special snowflake. Uh, do you need me to give you a lift, or you're good? This is designed to be fun. <laughs> but it's a video game. Yeah. Go find gears in the desert. 
You wouldn't do this that, in real life. That's why that it's fun in a video game. Fourteen was really well done. Yeah, but the second time. Yeah. Yeah. The first time was <laughs> atrocious because they had to completely take the game down and start over. I have Did to say though, redo the, fact... the character models too. Yeah, they like, redid it everything. Was that extreme? They redid yeah, it was everything. Literally everything. A, a realm reborn. The thing is, though, <laughs> I'm really impressed that they did. Like, what other MMO has done that and actually it, managed? They just shut or, down. Or game in general, besides Hydrophobia Pure. I've never even heard of that one. It's a game that was awful, and then they re-released it from. They basically redid it from scratch. Wait, was that the indie it was game? Probably still terrible. Yes. Oh, I I have the I have the quote unquote updated version, so I'll have to see how that yeah. is. Hydrophobia Pure. Okay. Which is just the renamed free update version of the game. Oh, actually, no, there is one other game. Uh, Orion Dino Horde. Apparently, the new version is significantly less shitty than the I original. guess FTL got an upgrade for free. But, but that, was just a, that was just an expansion, never mind. But that's not a revival or a remake. Game there are very people few... try to fix the shittiness. Yeah, there are uh, very few games that do that. Oh, uh, oh, uh, Ninja Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. Huh. Was Ninja Gaiden 3 re-released for like the Wii U or something, and they had to retool things from scratch because everyone hated Ninja Gaiden 3. Okay. Because it sucked. I think I saw I ran... that actually, and it had decent reviews for the Wii U. So it was kind of Ninja Gaiden 3 was one of the last things I played for uh uh well I had from like Gamefly before I canceled the subscription. And uh I I I decided to stop playing when I got to a really big crazy looking fight with like 17 enemies in it and I looked away from the screen and just started mashing the controller and I won. <laughs> wow. Whereas Ninja Gaiden's like the first two the first game in particular is like famous for being incredibly difficult and in Devil May Cry sort of way. Yeah. And the second one was less difficult cuz I beat it. I didn't beat the first game or I be, I I only got stuck a few times in the second one. Third game, literally rolling controller on on hand, just win the end. Wow. I meant to say rolling. I meant to say rolling hand on, on controller. Obviously. That's pretty sad. Yeah, it was it was a joke. So I'm like, right, I'm just gonna not play this, I guess. Oh god. It also just played me. poorly. Like it played bad. Had terrible level level design. I kept running into dead ends and shit. I think where like there's just like, oh, obviously you go this way. Oh, there's nothing here. Are you done okay. by the way? Yes. Okay, let's leave. Uh, I guess we go this way. Ninja Gaiden is a fucking joke. Yeah, I've never played a Ninja Gaiden game. No do I. Not even the really... first one? Like the 2D one? I have not seen any of them. Like, I don't even know what Ninja Gaiden looks like. Really? Yeah. Like the original, like, Nintendo nope. Entertainment System side-scrolling ninja game. I, I never had an NES, so I never Weird. got to experience any of that. Do you, know what Devil... do you know what Dead or Alive looks like? Uh, only the volleyball. Oh, Same wow. Difference. Well, that one doesn't have Ryu Hayabusa, which, in it, which was my connecting tissue there. Oh. The character well, from it has, uh, it has Ninja Gaiden there. and Devil May Cry are the same company. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, Ninja Gaiden and Dead or Alive are the same car our company. So, the character Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden, the main character, yeah. is a playable character in all of the D DOA games. I think I know what he looks like. Oh, yeah. Uh, he looks like I a generic ass ninja. Yeah, <laughs> sort of. And He's then, got kind of a cool headpiece, but that's about well, it. Uh, originally, he was just like in regular ass, like blue cloth wrapped around in Here, the most generic Keith, on, possible one we have ninja style. But in the reboot version, when they made the 3D games on the Xbox and so on, uh, he ha he's all leather with any sleeveless. Huh. So he's got he's got black leather everywhere, no sleeves, and he's got like a funny. His headpiece has like. Like gold-looking or or metal-looking like framing around the the uh, opening for the eyes. Hmm. It goes over oh, yeah, his forehead and stuff. It's actually a yeah. neat costume. I vaguely remember it. Uh, it's one of those that I I. Where are we going, Papa Wander? This. Ah. You, did did you just flip me off? Uh. <laughs> working on it. There we go. Uh. Well, okay. I guess I'll just do all this oh, by myself. I, as I was hopping down, I saw the quest update of what we were doing. I just assumed we were here to kill things, so I just jumped out and started hitting things with swords. And then I nope. see things burned, one of one. I'm like, oh. Here, hop on. Oh. Hop on. Reading powers. Hop I on. just one shot that guy. Yeah, I realize. Hop on. <laughs> I just want to point that out. That that was awesome, because I'm awesome. Hop on, you schlub. We're going I places. I can't. Oh, wait, I can just vanish. There we go. <laughs> I was in combat and I couldn't get out. 
Even though nothing what was happening want? to me. All right, this oh, time, get away this time me. you burn this no, one. I'll go get, burn the other. Ah, uh, no, it's probably right, not. Is that what I use the me. little? Is that what I use the thingy for? Yeah, use the torch thing. Just hold on. It's faster if I do oh. it. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Up on. Ow! 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 On fire! I can't not do a, that while in combat. Not a big fan what? of this guy over here. That should not actually doing. burn you. I know. I'm. I'm still in combat. Apparently. Just vanish. I can't. Has a two-minute cooldown. It used to be like ten minutes, I think. You are a special snowflake. What? I vanished a second ago last time. Didn't you, I just explained that to you? Remember? Go back to Tumblr where you belong. Disgendered <laughs> fuck. It's cisgender. which is a word. I said that. You said disgender. No, I didn't. <laughs> Definitely You're oppressing not. me. Stop oppressing me with your dissenting <laughs> Stop opinions. Stop oppressing me. Stop oppressing Trigger. me with your facts. Trigger oppression. I recently uploaded an episode of this called Social Justice Warrior. Of World of Warcraft? Yeah. Ah. I can't get back on, I'm in combat. Damn it. <laughs> I, every time you kick me off, I can't get back on, because something is really is something's putting me in combat here. It's weird, so though, because I, <laughs> I don't go into combat for whatever reason. Yeah, and I'm not fighting anything. I'm just standing there, but I'm in combat magically. Oh, that's I think, they're, I think they're racist against rogues. Yeah, probably. Which, the, the master race. I'm gonna blame <laughs> Michelle for that one. Mm. Teaching them how to be racist. Wait, uh, who? You. Are you going back south now? Yeah. Do you need a pickup? Ooh. Going. Probably. Oh, motherfucker. Nah. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you need a pickup. I'm coming. Literally, as I clicked on uh, go to travel form, I, I get attacked by uh, orcs. Michelle, how Why many you of... gotta ruin me? How many of these quests have you even done? Oh, these guys are um, higher. Well... These guys are all higher than me. I did like all of those siege engines already. All right. Uh, so we just finished that. Have you done any of the other ones? Are all of the points on the map to the south and to the east? Because uh, then I have yes. Because we've okay. got Zethgor must burn, uh, path of anguish and ill omens. Okay. Zethgor must burn ill omens, an old gift on yielding souls, and disrupt the reinforcements. Okay, we don't have all of those, but. Ill is Close just enough, such so an unfortunate word. <laughs> so we want ill omens and Zeth Gore must burn? Yeah, we might as well go do those. Mm -hmm. okay. I heard your friend's sick. Can I help him? Okay, From a you. typing perspective, oh, ill is just such an awkward word. Because in almost every font that's sans serif, oh. it just looks like three. Yeah. Three. <laughs> yep. Though, I, um, one thing I've noticed for... um. For YouTube, that's kind of interesting, is if you put I, 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 you know, for, like, Roman numerals 3. Yeah. Yeah. It actually counts that as 3. For search yes. results and stuff? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was doing tests with that, and I was like, alright, that's really nice, because I hate doing, like, uh, you know, it... if the I guess it depends the on the game, but yeah. Three. yeah. Shell, where are you going? I can so? see you, Shell. Uh, you that's might have to it. share that one with us. We don't have that one. But it's an old... Gift and unyielding we don't have souls? that one. I don't know where to get that one yet. Oh. We're going over to Ill Omens. I think, I think she's just Ill making omens? up quests now. Yeah, we're doing Ill okay. Omens and Zethgor must burn. Okay, fine. I'm going. I'm going. In that okay? direction. Yes. Now are you... Okay, I am slightly faster than you. Just tell those birds to buzz off. Wow. That was... <laughs> They're buzzards. I just ate yeah. food, and I just, I can't taste it anymore. That joke was so tasteless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Are you going to help me? Or... Okay. I'm I literally a professional, because I, I make some quantity of money. <laughs> Go ahead, stand here. Do nothing, that's fine. I have yet to make money from YouTube, but at this point, I can now ask for practically any indie game, and they will hand it to me. Which have is you really never nice. enabled monetization on anything? I am going to in about a week. Kind of depends on I how... Ju I just enabled monetization on my channel today. Okay. Uh, oh, I got the Cursed Talisman. You guys should have it here. But of course I've had it on Whoop. Sad yep. Forever, so that's been a thing. We actually uh, had an issue where apparently everything just sort of lost monetization. Like every new video we put up, it's like, you gotta prove you can do this every single time. So like, they're like suspicious. They've like become suspicious of us. Alright, I'm going to I'm gonna mark the towers. You guys just try and keep close to me, because... I'm gonna make that stuff not happy and on the live anymore. There we go. Sounds about right. My favorite. <laughs> oh, this is yeah, the little glowing eyes I, uh, Somewhere along the way, I kind of internally promised to myself that I would... Um, Got it. 
Yep. Oh, we've got four more. More work? No, I mean, I killed an eye. Oh, okay. I don't know what uh, you're doing. I'm not paying attention to you. All the towers are on the, are on the other side. Narcissist. I think you guys are going to be able to reach them without uh, me having to go too far. Well, you guys aren't going to have to run all the way over here to get credit. Tell me if this works. Jesus, 2,500 2, damage. That was a lot. Um, But yeah, somewhere along the way I said to myself that at 1,000 subscribers I would enable ads and stuff like that. It just huh. seemed correct. Yeah, I think I might have told myself that at some point too, but really it's just I picked an arbit I just arbitrarily decided to one day. Yeah. Uh the thing that's going to be a pain in the butt, but I want to do anyway, is uh setting up like a Patreon and stuff. Because apparently that actually works for a lot of people. And that'd be kind of nice supplemental. Definitely works more for some people than others. Here, Keith, you wanna yep. use this? It really depends I on your uh your like reward tiers and stuff. Keith, Whoa, you wanna use what? your fireworks? Guys, uh, there's, do, do, do. I need help. Come on, there we go. War Master. Ooh, Nito. Oh, got did, me. Oh, I wonder if that you. was in the game when I played it. That is some Crash Bandicoot's physics right there. Shell, just keep healing yourself. <laughs> okay. This, is just, this crate is pulsing. <laughs> that is freaky. That is so Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't quite expect that. Let him to animate like wood and metal that looks like it's pulsing like a. All right, you okay? Thank you. Yep, no problem. Yes. No, I didn't one shot him. Now I'm sad. All right. Also, for oh, some reason, I felt I like I needed to be sneaky guys. by by not talking anymore when I snuck up on that guy. Yeah, that was. I was wondering about that. Huh. Here, Shelly, you want to hop on? We got one more tower. Down I don't know if I. Yeah, yep, one more tower. Yep. Uh, clicky. I really want one of those. There we go. Oh, dragons. I know. I really want one of those Eureka. dragons. Here. Oh. We go to Pandaria for them, though, don't we? You've got the thing, yeah. Yes. Yeah, we'll have to there's do two, that. There's, I got two question marks over here, so I'm going to head over there. Yep, we're it takes a while. Too. You have to go to... When yep. you go to Pandaria, uh, you have to also gain worms, reputation. But I'm invisible, so they don't see me. a uh, group of people. And then once you get right. the reputation with them, then they're like, yeah, you can have a dragon, I guess. Oh, man, rep grinding. That was fun. You got a shell? Grinding for Not another yet. drake mounts. Hey, hey, hey. That was great. Stop. That was That was something that was worth doing. I made well, good, deci good decisions back then. <laughs> er, it's actually not that hard to rep uh, to rep grind. You no, just I have put it. you just put the tabards on when you're doing instances, and boom, you get like a ton of rep. That's 100% new. Yeah, okay. it's it's a lot easier. <laughs> That's to so rep grind. new. Yeah, so uh, how it's rep like an works? Eternity. Yeah, That's not how... that new, actually. But it's yeah, newer it... than the Nether Drakes that we're talking about. <laughs> It's newer true. than Burning Crusade. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Bur I'm Burning the Crusade thing is the about, only way. I'm talking about how it was originally done. Yeah, Burning Crusade is the only thing that yeah. still follows the old system. Now it's just throw on a tabard. On one hand, I have to say I did enjoy the way rep grinding was handled to a small you degree. You had to do a daily quest in one cave every day, like on a dumb little floating island in the corner of Outland, and you had to do those daily quests every day, and that was your only source of reputation. So you had to do come back every day and do them for like it's months. It's true. No, th that, that was handling, not, there's nothing good about that. That handling is just absolutely shitty. I was more thinking of, like, uh, getting the Tal books and some of the other stuff. I don't know, as long as there are multiple options, I don't mind it as much. Back then, Tabards just did zero things. Yeah. <laughs> they were completely useless. They just made you look different slightly on your chest and gave you a floppy-ass loincloth. <laughs> that was the entire purpose of a Tabard. <laughs> I am like, fair now. This like, your rage can have a team jersey. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Though, then again, I, I would usually wear it purely because, like, half of the chest pieces looked atrocious. Rogue armor looks awesome. At least rogue raiding armor. Yeah. It depended. But, yeah, especially, like, once you got later on, it definitely looked a lot nicer. Morty replacing Burning Crusade gear on my character now. I got yep. a blue chest for the jerkin of the untamed spirit. <laughs> The chest piece of untamed jerky. All right, yeah, you guys just follow me around. I'm gonna run around just pissing off everything if I can. Yay! I'll turn on blade flurry. There we go. We're gonna have fun. Also, on my screen, Shell is currently still mounted, but not <laughs> actually what? on a. But she's not actually on a mount, so she's just like floating on her butt. <laughs> like your, That's your, hilarious. Your, I butt, in mind. your butt is currently at floor level, and you're just sliding around on it. You don't have legs, <laughs> dude. That's great. <laughs> That's <Genius>. terrible. <laughs> when you, whenever you pick up loot, it looks like you're leaning forward, like as if you were like eating porridge with your face. 
Oh man, uh, like just Keith, your face. <laughs> Keith, did you get the forest by the way, or no? You don't have that game. The what? The forest? No. Ah, nuts. Uh, crouching in that game looks really stupid. It's a. It was originally a single player game, and they're like, yeah, let's add multiplayer. And just the oh, multiplayer no. is broken as shit, and it looks really funny. Because the game's so, still not done. No, not yeah, even close. Early access. Yeah, yeah it, it's like a kind of single player Rust. So instead of have other people around to like mess your day up, it's just a bunch of cannibals in the woods. But like, it doesn't know how to handle multiplayer yet. So like, they don't. They just kind of stare at you if if you're playing multiplayer. I went from oh. being on board with early access to being completely fatigued in the span of like one week. Yeah, well, it, de it really depends on the game. Immediately just turned on it. Like uh, Vigante, one of the games that I guess I've mentioned. Uh, I guess we're heading back to but like on pretty much for universally bit. though. You're getting a lesser experience. It's true. I guess like it 100 percent of the time, you're better off playing the game when it's actually done. Um, I I guess for me it really depends on the game. Uh, I, I I'm gonna skip uh, Vigante because it's not a good example because I haven't even seen. Anywhere past Whee! level five, but uh, Tower of Guns when that oh, was an no. alpha. I jumped off and made a very real, like horrible, like dog in pain sound. <laughs> oh, the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, but when when Tower of Guns was in uh, early access, it was a complete game. Like you could go through levels one through five. Uh, all the bosses, all the weapons were already in there. And so, pretty much thereafter, everything else was just cool expansion content that was really fun to play. Shell, did you get the quest, by the way? Turn it in? I think I already got these ones. Oh, okay. So. I guess we're going back over here to turn it's something hard in. To be, it's hard to be positive about early access because we're stuck in the phase where it's still a new thing on Steam. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. b like, 99% of the early access games have never actually stopped being early access yet. So, it just it's, feels it's like... It's true. <laughs> It feels like a hollow <laughs> promise that may never be fulfilled because there's very little precedent for it actually ever coming to fruition. Yeah. And many, actually, there might, there might even be more examples of failed early access games than games that come out. Truly successful, where the, yeah. The, where developers just say, eh, fuck it, and just stop. And yeah. Leave, and just stop I, saying anything. Uh, actually, a great example is uh, Magisite. You remember Magisite, right? Magisite. Pretty much Towns. Hated. Yeah, because it's terrible. That's a terrible yeah. game. You guys like, deluded yourselves into liking it. I, I mean, it was a multiplayer roguelike. That's that's usually my my criteria. Well, yeah, you also deluded yourself into defending uh, Ride to Hell. <laughs> well, yeah, I also have substantially lower standards than you. It yeah, you're you're uh, not particularly discerning. discerning. Shell, do you have disrupt their reinforcements? Um, currently, I'm being attacked by a group of buzzards. Uh, now it's only on. tell them to two. buzz off. I told you this already. I know, um, but there are just so many of them, and they overwhelmed just me. Just say it a lot. I had to reincarnate. Become a bee. But the, uh... <laughs> what? What's Comic become retribution? a bee? retribution! <laughs> um, but the developer for Magisite decided that his best recourse, uh, after, like, a while of early access, was just decide he was done before the, like, game even has functional multiplayer. Or fully functional. So, Shell, do you have to disrupt the reinforcements? Can you check? Oh, sweet. Yes, I'm gonna... I do. Okay, then follow us. I'm going to stare at whatever scroll that is. I've never seen that animation before where they check the map. Oh, oh map. really? Oh, well, when she was checking the map or her quest log or something like that, she actually pulls out a scroll to read. Yeah. Oh, weird. I guess that was yeah, fine. I've I never noticed I didn't know that, that was a thing. Yeah, it must be new because oh. I've never seen well, it before. Worms. I'm ignoring we call it. Yes, it's not going to be blasters. Oh. <laughs> 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 You guys, oh, know, about that? In that. That was you guys funny. know about that? You guys know about the ass blasters? I, in like episode, in like I, I've, I've seen all four of them, unfortunately. Were the ass blasters in part two or three? I think it was what maybe even? two or three. It feels like a thing dumb enough for three, but it could also be two. They might have just added a new monster oh, in every movie. Oh, no, it, it may have been three or four. Yeah. I don't think I've seen four. I don't even oh, get oh, it. Well, the interesting thing about four was that There's it was There's a movie called actually, Tremors, you know, and they made too many sequels. Oh, I see. And Kevin yeah. Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Yeah, and the you know, first one. You get my you know my references now, I wonder. <laughs> it's true. But, yeah, but he's not that, was, but that doesn't make so, it mean he's gonna listen. <laughs> the gun fanatic in that one, you know the guy that had the bunker in the basement and stuff? He actually his ancestor appears in the fourth film as, you know, some guy that's initially prospecting you look the like town you poop. and trying to start a store. I always want to poop. And uh, that's when the first tremors come about. But 
Interesting. Apparently, apparently Wander disrupts portals by like furtively pawing at the ground at them, so it just looks <laughs> like he's finding a spot to poop. <laughs> I am ready. <laughs> My anus is ready. I mean, do you see this giant ass of mine? It, That's it's like ninety percent. <laughs> it's like ninety percent turd storage. It's, it's swole as fuck. One of the few reasons why, when I play Druid, I prefer the uh, the other specs compared to tank spec because it's just like a bear butt. I also like just, it that my just polar bear, bear if I, stop, the all the time. I can just like back my polar bear straight into my dingle. I'm just glad they didn't draw a butthole. It's true. <laughs> I would. Be... Oh, I know. Like in Japanese anime, with all the like, dogs having the yeah, every, uh, every dog and cat in like any cartoon ever just has like a little star butthole they felt the need to draw. Or Sanctum. <laughs> Look, uh, see, he's trying to poop. Look at him pooping on the floor. Well, now he's pooping all up on that woman's face. Yeah, well. Uh, I didn't realize you were German. Achtung. Um, shots fired. Shots fired. Is that specific to German culture? I feel like I everybody know. poops on somebody. I just, I just heard the fr the dumb phrase "German shiza porn" too many times. What the shit does it? What? Is that what? from South Park or from my lunch table at at high school? I don't know. Those are two very specific things you should dis like distinguish between. Not really, they're very similar. <laughs> one's the real life, one's not. And if it's yeah, the real life, say, you should be they say the, the same friends thing. Lucky. <laughs> I don't have them anymore, though. Ah. Uh, High school was like six years ago.